My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will talk about assets. We will talk about when to use the assets and we will talk about how to use them. We will use the get asset and the get credential activities. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all my new videos about RPA and UiPath. Let's get started. So I created a simple workflow here, a sequence, with which loops through all files in a specific folder, and then it will print them out. And it's this folder here, Drive-E, with some files, and it's just a dummy folder. And I created a variable in where I store uh, the location of the folder. So let's see how that goes. We start the robot, and it ran. And we can see that it found all the file names of the files in the folder. So that's good. However, say that we, um, or the system, or whoever runs it, uh, changed the address of, uh, of it, so uh, suddenly it became drive F or whatever, then our robot will throw an exception, and um, we will have to update it uh, here in the variable manager. That could be okay, but imagine that we uh, use this uh, data path in a lot of robots, then we should update it everywhere. We could uh, solve this in a smarter way. So let's use the assets in Orchestrator. So go to Orchestrator and click Assets, and then click the plus sign here. And we could create an asset name with the folder path in it. So this one, will, we could call it whatever we like. So data path maybe and then the text that will just be uh, this guy here and except for the quotation marks so we will delete those like this and this so now we stored the data path here in orchestrator under data path let's copy that one so we can use it and we can see that it's now here stored as a text so then we can use uh, we can delete the value here and instead uh, we could um, just use a get asset. So we'll get this asset and store it into uh, this string. So get asset, drag this guy in. And the asset name, we just created that. That was the data path and remember quotation marks here. And then the output that will just be into our string. So our string folder path or call it whatever you want. And then it will work. However, remember we changed the drive letter from E to F. So uh, what we'll do here, when if that happened, when we created the asset, we will just uh, click here and click Edit, and then change the drive letter to F, and then click Update, and now it's updated for all our robots, and we can run it. So this one saves a lot of time, and it. Uh, it improves the robustness, robustness, robustness of the robot uh, in terms of error. So we can see that it actually worked here. And um, so that's the get asset. Let's go down to our main again and then take the other sequence I prepared. So I set that as start node and open it. It's really a simple sequence as well. What this sequence does, it logs in with a username and a password into this page. So let's try to run that. We will see that uh, it fills us the username, password, and then login. So that's fine. However, well, there's several problems here. Uh, first, the small problem is that whenever we update the user and the password, then like from a central, then we might update it here and in a lot of other robots like before. However, there's also a security issue. So now, right now, we get just stored the password here as a variable and everyone can log in uh, to UiPath and uh, see the password. So let's uh, create an asset for this and uh, store it uh, in Orchestrator in a secure way. So go down, oh sorry, go down to uh, Orchestrator again, click the plus and then we will create a variable here. So we could uh, call this one uh, the internet login whatever. If that was Facebook, we would call it Facebook login. And then we will change the type to a credential. And now we can see that we can store it as a, we can store a username and a password. And we will do that. So the username that's Tom Smith here, Tom Smith, and then the password that is super secret password. 
And what's clever with this is that we will uh, type it in one time. We can even see it here. And then when we click create and uh, we'll use the edit again, then we can't see it anymore. So uh, we can only type it in once and whoever get, get goes into Orchestrator can't even see it. So that's really secure and it's stored in a secure way. So let's copy the asset name and then use it uh, for our little sequence here. First, we will uh, get asset again. We will uh, get a um, get credential, sorry. So drag this guy in. And we can see here that we got an asset name like before. That will just be the internet login that we just created. And then output is a password and a username. The username that will just be the str user, like this. And we can delete this one and we can also delete this one. We can actually delete the whole variable because uh, let me delete this because uh, um, we will uh, create a new secure string it's called it's not a string so we can't use this anymore we could uh, just press ctrl k here and then call it ss uh, pass secure string pass we can see that this is a secure string and then what we will need to do is that we'll need to instead of this type uh, password like a normal type then we will um, have a uh, type secure text so drag this guy in and then uh, delete the type password and then we need to indicate where we want to type it so we we'll have this one open and indicate the password here and then um, what we'll uh, do here is that we will have a input a secure text and it will just be the one that we just created the ss pass like this and now it will work so now we, we store our uh, credential at Orchestrator in a secure way and we can use it uh, for in a lot of robots and we can even update it uh, whenever the password changes. So uh, let's try to run this guy. We will see that uh, we get the username and password from Orchestrator. We fill it in and log in. So that's it. Now you learned about how to get asset and get credential. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all my new videos about UiPath. Have a good day. Bye-bye.